работа, чего кому сидит. Витаемо! Морпехи есть, клуб! Пискованным! Слава Украине! Слава Украине! Украина! С поверненням, хлопці! The female bodyguard who protected former U.S. President Donald Trump from a possible second bullet during the assassination was born in Russia's Ryazan region. According to information, the woman, who is a master of sports in hand-to-hand -hand combat and karate, is from the city of Skopin and is a student of Olga Navikova, a trainer and master of sports from Ryazan. In 2000, the girl moved to the United States with her family, where she worked as a coach and studied at the university. He later graduated from a private bodyguard school, which is believed to have somehow led him to become Donald Trump's personal bodyguard. At the same time, the audio expertise showed that Donald Trump was shot from three types of weapons. But despite this, the Federal Bureau of Investigation insists on the version that the shooter acted alone. Experts from the National Media Forensic Center at the University of Colorado in Denver, who examined the records of the assassination attempt, concluded that the first three shots were fired from one gun, and the next five shots were fired from a suspected second gun. At the same time, the last, acoustic pulse, could have been made from a third type of weapon. Also, audio analyzes confirmed that the shooter was about 110 to 120 meters away from Trump. According to the version put forward by Russian shooting instructor Sergei Dubov, it is forbidden to bring weapons to any event in the United States, so someone may have let the shooter in who wanted to assassinate Donald Trump. At the same time, the instructor said that no special training is required to fire a rifle. He noted that the shooter could not pass the weapon through the police cordon. It should be recalled that the assassination attempt against Donald Trump took place on July 13 during his meeting with voters in Pennsylvania. One person died and others were injured during the incident. The politician himself received a slight injury to his ear. The shooter was identified as 20-year-old local resident Thomas Matthew Crooks. He was neutralized by snipers of the U.S. Security Service. One of the shooter's classmates remembered him as normal and a kind boy who never had a bad word to say about anyone. Another acquaintance of the attacker noted that Crooks was always lonely and wore a camouflage suit or hunting clothes to school.